All that stuff you did, this is take three, so all the goofiness that Susan had in takes one and two has been erased. Storm Team forecast from... <laughs> that's not why, though. <laughs> Storm Team forecast from Scott Steele today. It's 55 degrees in Waukesha as you wake up, 51 degrees in Milwaukee, 60s already in points a little bit further west. The Storm Team forecast for today, increasing clouds, showers and thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. Scotty's saying some of those could be pretty strong. High near 76 degrees, cooler near the lake. In the news today, big old fire, 91st and Silver Spring, destroyed a 70-unit apartment complex. Everybody did make it out okay, but some harrowing stories as people claim they jumped out of windows to escape the flames. Turns out the owner of the Black and White Cafe, one of the businesses in the, in the building that housed the Pizza Man restaurant that burned down, the owner of the Black and White Cafe has now been charged with starting that fire. Local politics, you have the uh, GOP continuing with their uh, agenda here at the state legislature. The assembly is set to vote on voter ID today. The assembly exp voted to expand school voucher programs in Milwaukee County yesterday, lifting the cap on the number of people that can uh, participate in the program and also expanding it to all of Milwaukee County as opposed to just the city of Milwaukee. And we'll also be holding hearings on concealed carry legislation. Again, three main pillars of the GOP plan as they took uh, power of both the Assembly, the Senate, and then, of course, the Governor's office as well. In the sports, two in a row for the Brewers. They look to sweep the Padres this afternoon at Miller Park. It was an 8-6 win for the crew. A pretty nice outing by Sean Markham yesterday. Check this out. A Swiss adventurer in a jet suit has flown over the Grand Canyon.